Hi everyone, in previous video I have explained to you about creating a new custom doc type but that video was quite brief so I decided to make another video which will have some more information about doc type. So what I'll do is in this video I'll create a doc type and make it as a child table. So previously I have created, let me just give you a brief about what previously we have done. So what we have done is that we created a an institute doc type and linked it to the job applicant form over here. So what I'll do is now I'll create another doc type named as certification and it will be a child table in the job applicant form. All right. So let's go. Now we'll go to doc type list to create a new doc type. We are in HR module. So right now I'll click on new and I'll name it as certification. Okay. And over here, it, the module is HR. And if I check on is submittable, then what will happen is that once I submit it, the document will be, I mean, if I want to delete it first, I'll have to cancel it. So this certification, since it will be a child table, so I'll simply keep it as, uh, I won't keep it as submittable. All right. And next we have is, is child table. So yes, this one is going to be a child table. And okay, if I don't check on child table, we have another another information over here such as we have a single so what what does it mean that it will have only one record and no table associated all right and if it is tree then we know that in ERP next we have some of like in HR only we have the department section let me go into the department you'll see that it is a tree structure you see this is how it looks so that's what is tree means and then quick entry means that um, like we saw before for the item all right I'll go into item let me go selling we have product so whenever I'll click on new product I'll get this quick dialog box so that is what it's about that that is what quick entry means okay and track changes track scene and track views all of these are used to track any changes that are being made inside of it like right now I'm in the item doc type so any changes made over here will be will be tracked and you'll get an information about what changes have been made previously so that's what it's about and then we have a custom so yeah this this doc type will be custom so that's why it's already checked now we'll add a field so let's add field now first field will be certification name and it's going to be a data so certification all right it's going to be a data and let's check it as mandatory and then we have another one as uh, institute from which institute they have done institute or it can be any organization from they have done so what I'll do is I'll link it and I'll add institute doc type all right we have another one what can be yeah, it can be the start date of the certification and it's the type will be date and we have end date of the certification and that will be end date so it can be month directly but uh, proper specific date is much better so yeah this was about the field settings now I have added all these fields over here now previously we saw that we also have the naming option so how do we want to name this uh, now since it will be a child table I won't give much stress on this naming series but let's say if you want the certification name to be stored based on this uh, certification name so you can add field and whatever the field name will be over here once I save it I'll be getting this field name so that you will be adding it over here and then we can also add a naming series and we can also add a separate format if we want like CERT and then dot hash 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 that also can be done so that is what naming is all about and we can also add a description and the name case such as if you want the upper case or if you want the title case then we can also have, have that so this was about the naming series now next is form settings so we have additional settings for form now we have another separate video about custom form in ERP next now in that we have seen all of this like image field so if this uh, certification is having an image doc type 
like for employee we have an image for students also we have an image so that becomes a point of distinction for that employee and i mean for that doc type so that is what image field is about now right now this doesn't have an image field so we won't add and we have a timeline field so anything that is uh, any com any comments and communication that will be take place uh, that will be associated with this particular doc type over here and then we can also add a maximum attachments that can be added to this doc type so if you want like maximum attachments to be five then we cannot attach more document more than five documents so that is what it's about but since it is a charitable we won't add anything over here and we have all of this such as hide sidebar and hide uh, copy allow rename allow import so import allowing is um, like we know in we have this import option over here that is we can import data so that's what it's, it's about all right now what is what else is there okay we have view settings so in view settings we have title field so if I change the name of this if I put like previously I have named item as a product so that's why it's now showing as a product instead of item so that's what it's about and we have a search field like when we will be searching for um, for Institute I have added if you remember in previous video like I'm clicking on job applicant and I'll click on new job applicant and I'll go to Institute so you can see that we have this name also in search field so that's that's what this is and we have a default print format now print format is I'll be making a separate video about this print format it's like coming everywhere so print format is basically we have um, each computer head so that's what this print format is about you can create a separate print format and add it and attach it to a doc type and this is about the sorting field so we can sort the list based on the modified or based on the name like let me show you other options we have okay we get another options too but I'll, once I save it I'll be getting different options let me save it okay so where is it view default sort field we can add so right now I'm not getting any other option but best is to by default it is by modified so whichever will be modified latest that will be appearing over here and then we have a sort order which is ascending or descending and we can select that uh, how do we want to show in module section so we can show in document and then but since it is a child table so it's not needed and then we can add an icon for this certification doc type and color also and show preview pop-up all right let me show you about show preview pop-up how it works yesterday I checked and it was working for an employee so let's go to an employee mm, just a second I'll go to leave application and I'll click on this yeah it is working you see we have all this information that's what preview pop-up is and make name searchable in global search so this is global search and if I check on this then you can search it from here also the certification all right now this was about um, view next we have is email settings so allow document creation via email so what it will do is if I check on this this uh, certification doc type will be converted into a document that is a PDF document and that can be emailed so we can add a sender field and subject field but since it is a child table I won't add this now next we have is a permission so since right now only certification can be added by a system manager but I'll add guest also since job applicant will be mostly they won't be associated with our website they'll be guest so yeah read write create and delete I'll save it now okay now restrict to domain so if we want to restrict to this doc type to specific domain that is from any of this then we can do that but I don't want to restrict this certification to any do domain and if I check on user cannot search that means it cannot be it won't be visible in the search box over here and user cannot create that means no new certification can be created by user 
and we have action. So this action is, all right, let me add, we can add a several action. So we can add a label and then we can add a route um, for which we want to take an action for, for this particular form. And we have a link document also. I mean, we can link a separate doc type such as now certification it is so we can link job applicant to it but I won't be linking it from here like job applicant can be linked and then we can link what which field do we want to link in this job applicant that we can link so I won't link anything right now since it's going to be a child table let me delete this okay save so this was all about the doc type and after creating a doc type you can add a custom script and individual server script for each doc type and then you can also add an assignment rule which I'll be covering in another video and we have a workflow for this that is workflow also we saw yesterday previously I mean in a, another video and then we can add a print format for this and we can create a web form which is also going to be another video and energy point rule is basically um, each time you'll be adding a certification a user will be getting some energy points so that's what it's about but we don't need it right now so all right now doc type is done now what I'll do is I'll make it a child table now since it is a child table let me see if it's already a child table let me go back it's is it a child table no it's not all right let's make it a child table and save it okay now we'll go to job applicant and we will customize it Let's do it fast. Now we have, um, where is it? Institute. All right. Below Institute, I'll add. Yes, I'll add certifications. Now the certification is going to be a table. So let's make it a table. And the option will be certification doc type. Let me have a look at the doc type once again so that I don't make any certification all right certification and let's update it all right now job applicant has been updated let's go to job applicant now and you should be seeing the certification table okay we have it already all right so earlier we saw that we did not have this in certification name Institute and start date and all of this together so why was it that because you will have to for this particular field you'll have to select in grid view so then only it will be available over here so I've added all of them in the grid view and so from here it's uh, easy to edit all of this so now I'll add HTML I'll add the institute let's say code academy okay we don't have an institute so we'll have to create it but okay I'll just use this one and we'll add a start date and we'll add an end date let's save it all right so we have now added the child table successfully in the another doc type and so I hope you understood all of this and I hope you understood about the doc type also so thank you so much for watching. If you have any doubt, do mention them. Thank you.